Salah Braverman is not only the Advocate General for England and Wales, but also a lawbreaker. She allegedly breached the ministerial code by asking civil servants to help her arrange a one-to-one -one speed awareness course after being caught speeding last summer. This is a serious violation of the rules that govern the conduct of ministers and their staff. The ministerial code states that ministers must uphold the highest standards of propriety and ensure that no conflict arises between their public duties and their personal interests. It also says that ministers must not ask civil servants to act in any way that would conflict with their obligations under the Civil Service Code. By using her official position to seek preferential treatment for a personal matter, Sala Braverman showed a disregard for the principles of integrity and accountability that are expected of her. She also wasted public resources and time by involving civil servants in her private affairs. Sala Braverman has not publicly admitted or apologized for her misconduct, nor has she faced any consequences from the Prime Minister or the Cabinet Secretary. This raises questions about the credibility and independence of the Advocate General, who is supposed to provide legal advice to the government and represent it in court. How can she uphold the rule of law when she herself has broken it? How can she defend the government's actions when she has abused her own power? How can she be trusted to act in the public interest when she has put her personal interest first? Sala Braverman's tenure as Home Secretary was cut short by a scandal that exposed her disregard for the rules. She resigned in October 2022 after admitting that she had breached the ministerial code. What did she do? She emailed a secret document from her personal email address to a fellow MP. The document contained sensitive information about the government's plans to deal with a potential terrorist attack. Braverman claimed she was trying to get feedback from a trusted colleague, but critics accused her of putting national security at risk. This was not the first time Braverman had been accused of unethical behavior. As Attorney General, she was caught speeding and allegedly asked civil servants to help her arrange a one-to-one -one driver awareness course. She later paid the fine and expressed regret for speeding, but the damage to her reputation was done. Braverman's resignation was seen as a blow to Liz Truss, who had appointed her as Home Secretary in September Braverman used her resignation letter to attack Truss's leadership, saying she had made mistakes and failed to address them. Truss herself resigned as Prime Minister a few days later, after losing a vote of no confidence in Parliament.